Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today, I have this big bottle here. This is my second beer ever from this brewery in uh, California. This is the Anderson Valley uh, from, uh, what is it, uh... Boomville, California. This is a Barney Flats Oatmeal Stout. So the Barney Flats Oatmeal Stout. Uh, we have an LCBO sticker back here. What's this say? Product of USA. Strong beer. Contains malted barley. 5.8% alcohol. It's a 650. Brewed and bottled by Anderson Valley Brewing. AVBC.com is their website. Uh, what's it say over here? A classic example of oatmeal stout. A deep garnet tinted ebony in hue with dense voluptuous mahogany head. Okay, that actually um, sounds interesting. Uh, what's the cap here say? The cap here says... Solar-powered brewery. You guys in California, um, I don't do I don't do what uh, Louisiana Beer Reviews does. I don't really look up a lot of stuff on stuff because I don't want to accidentally get information on it. Um, he is the one and the only type of guy to go to if you really want all the history on a brewery, all the history on the beer when it was made, what rewards it came out with, if the recipes have changed. He usually knows all that stuff. Uh, because he does take the time and he looks it all up. Me, I just want to know if I like the beer or not. But is this brewery actually 100% solar powered? Any of you down in California know? Because that would be pretty awesome. I know that um, here in Ontario, the only one getting close to that is uh, Bose. I think they're the only ones trying at the same time. I don't think any other breweries are, that I can think of here in Ontario are actually even attempting it. Alrighty, um, I don't know if I'd call that a deep mahogany brown, I mean, that, uh, that barrel head is more mahogany than, uh, that head, I would say it's a nice little brownish color, uh, it's got a good two fingers head on there, beautiful deep dark beer, uh, classic example of style, sure, I'd say, uh, look wise, so far, classic example of the style, and I mean, doesn't it just look pretty in these glasses? Whether or not you like these glasses don't matter because the beers look pretty. And no, it isn't a true on Teku. I have some Tekus back there. It's a Feku. The, uh, the Feku, basically, the uh, mouth goes backwards instead of in. But they are nice glasses. Smell? Hmm. Hmm. Bready. Very bready, very uh, almost English pale ale like biscuitiness. A little bit of raisin. Yeah, biscuitiness, raisin, a uh, tiny bit of a uh, of a neutral green, uh, neutral green sweetness, and a tiny touch of chocolate. Uh, a visual appeal, I'd say, is an A. Scent, uh, I'd probably give this a a B on the scent, maybe even a C plus. Um, not the greatest smelling oatmeal stout I've ever sniffed. But hey, that don't matter. That's just an extra point of contention on on the experience. What's the beer taste like? Because that is the big main thing. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. Only thing I can say, and this isn't uh, stylistically, because stylistically, this is actually pretty spot on. This is just my own personal opinion on the beer. Taking words from my good friend Paul from PA Brew News, taking his immortal words, it's a bit thin. It is a bit thin. Mouthfeel-wise, a bit thin. Flavor, a bit thin as well, but uh, again, just a great standard oatmeal stout. Now, when you think oatmeal stout... At least when I think oatmeal stout, I think it's going to have a little bit of a heavier body. That the oats are going to impart that in here. Didn't, but they did impart some nice little flavored nuances. Instead of just getting like caramel and chocolate and roastiness, which is what you normally get, you get a nice 
mellow, neutral grain spirit sweet, ah, neutral grain sweetness. Just, uh, just a nice sweetness up there, and it does give off that kind of uh, drying tongue that you can get from some actual oatmeal when you make it yourself for breakfast. Uh, it does give that dry graininess across the tongue as well. Background, English hoppiness, and a bit of uh, a bit of burnt malts, uh, not even fully roasted. I'd say burnt, like uh, smoldering malts. <coughs> Excuse me. Low ABV, light body, <sighs> light flavor. You could probably drink a couple of these in a night and not really worry about it. Um, problem with the beer? No, no, no problems at all. I actually have nothing to complain about. I'm actually getting kind of sad. I haven't had a. Uh, a rant about a beer video in a while. Um, really, either I'm learning to appreciate everything for what it is, or brewers are just getting better at what they're doing, or I've already drank most of the shit I'm going to be able to find in my in my quest. And I say that because I'm sure there's a lot of shit around the world still. Um, when I say shit, I mean shit for myself personally because. There's a every single per there every beer that's ever made in the world. There's somebody that will like it, and that's okay if you like it. I don't give a shit if you like it. I don't give a shit if I like it, and you don't like it. What this is about is what I feel the beer is. I'm giving you my opinion on the beer. If you don't like my opinion, we can discuss that. And just knowing that you don't need to agree with me, I don't need to agree with you. We both don't need to like the same beer. That's great great thing about our bodies and our tastes and everything else, right? Paradigms come into effect, everything. Um, now I'm just rambling, though. Back to the beer. A little bit of a raisin taste in there, too. A little bit of raisin taste. It's actually almost tastes like it should be barrel-aged. Um, I think we had talked about uh, this on a BD, uh, BDU that... Anderson Valley had just taken this specific beer and barrel aged and it didn't turn out very well. And I could see that because it would get thinner. Um, but the taste in there tastes like they would work. Not not with bourbon though, because that little bit of raisin makes me want a rum barrel. Makes me want a cognac barrel. Makes me want something like that. Something that's just going to add some more fruitiness to it. Maybe even a wine barrel. Um, and I don't even think for a very long time. Maybe 60 days, maybe 90 days. Um see what you can pull out of it in that time. You leave it in there for a year and this thing's going to be as watery as a lager. Uh, bad beer? No. Great, great little oatmeal stout. Great little oatmeal stout. Uh, amazing beer? No. But it's a great little oatmeal stout. Uh, out of 10 on this beer, probably uh, an 8 out of 10, I would say. I would buy this beer again. If this was at the LCBO more often, I would buy it more often. I'm glad I get a new cap for the fridge. I'm glad I get a beer to try. I'm glad uh, that it's available here in Ontario, which means that we may see other Anderson Valley beers in the future, and that actually gets me excited. It gets me excited whenever there's a thought of any new beers in the future. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that all being said, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. I'm going to... Should I chug it? Uh, I was supposed to chug it, but I don't know if I want to chug it. I was going to try to appreciate it while I played some uh, Dragon Quest Eight because I'm right near the end. I have all these games that I've had for years. Dragon Quest Eight, I bought the year it came out, so that was, what, 10, 12 years ago? Still never beat it because I get playing into something and then something new comes out and I play the new one. So I'm actually going back and I'm playing through all my old games and um, I really should go and beat it, but I don't know if I'm going to. Cheers, guys.